How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean By providence impoverished and squalor Grow up to be a hero and a scholar the ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self-starter by 14 they placed him in charge of a trading charter and every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up inside he was longing for something to be a part of the brother was ready to beg steal borrow or barter then a hurricane came and devastation rained our man saw his future drip dripping down the drain put a pencil to his temple connected it to his brain and he wrote his first refrain a testament to his pain well the word got around they said this kid is insane man took up a collection just to send him to the mainland get your education don't forget from whence you came and the world's gonna know your name what's your name man alexander hamilton Alexander Hamilton And there's a million things I haven't done But just you wait Just you wait When he was ten his father split Full of it, debt ridden Two years later see Alex and his mother bed Ridden half dead Sitting in their own sick The scent thick And Alex got better but his mother wept quack Moved in with a cousin The cousin committed suicide Left Nothing but ruined bride, something new inside a voice saying, Alex, you gotta fend for yourself. He started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. There would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead and destitute without a cent or restitution. Started working, working for his late mother's landlord. Trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford. Scamming for every book he can get his hands on. Planning for the future. Asking. Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours, I may have punched him. It's a blur, sir. He handles the financials. You punched the burr, sir. Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate in two and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. You're an orphan. Of course, I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was a war. Then we could prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. Can I buy you a drink? That would be nice. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? 
smile more <laughs> don't let them know what you're against or what you're for you can't be serious you wanna get ahead yes fools who run their mouths off wind up dead uh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yo. what time is it showtime like i said showtime showtime yo i'm john lawrence in the place to be a two pints of sam adams but i'm working on three ha. those red coats don't want it with me because i will pack chick a plat these cops till i'm free hey we oui, we oui, mon ami je m'appelle lafayette the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir to the king, cause it's why who is the best, c'est moi. Bra, bra, I am Hercules Mulligan, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother said, come again. Hey. Lock up your daughters and horses. Of course, it's hard to have intercourse over four sets of corsets. Wow. No more sex. <laughs> Pour me another brew, son. Let's raise a couple more to, to the, the revolution. revolution. Well, if it ain't the prodigy of Bristol College. Aaron Burr. Give us a verse, drop some knowledge. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. You're taking a stand. You spit, mm -hmm. I'm a sit. We'll see where we land. Oh. The revolution's imminent. What do you stall for? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what'll you fall for? Who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who, who is this kid? What's he gonna do? I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not thrown away my shot. To King's College I probably shouldn't brag But dag I'm amazed and astonished The problem is I got a lot of brains But no polish I gotta holler Just to be heard With every word I drop knowledge I'm a diamond in the rough A shiny piece of coal Trying to reach my goal My power of speech Unimpeachable Only 19 But my mind is older These New York City streets Get colder I shoulder Every burden Every disadvantage I've learned to manage I don't have a gun to brandish I walk these streets famished The plan is to fan this spark Into a flame But damn it's getting so let me spell out the name. I am the A L E X A N D E R. We are meant to be a colony that runs independently. Meanwhile, Britney keeps shitting on us endlessly. Essentially, they tax us relentlessly. Then King George turns around, runs a spending spree. He ain't never gonna set his descendants free. So there will be a revolution in this century. Enter me. He says in parentheses. Don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. I will lay down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. And I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not thrown Life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy. How you say? I use all oh, anarchy. <laughs> when I fight, I make the other side panicky with my shit. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice. And I got job knuckleheads and local parentis. I'm joining the rebellion because I know what's my chance to socially advance. Instead of sewing some pants, I'm gonna take a shot. And but we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. Right. You and I do or die. Ooh. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black. Never another shot. Geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. Bird, check what we got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lancelot. I think your pants look hot. Lawrence, I like you a lot. Let's hatch a plot blacker than the kettle calling the pot. What are the odds of God to put us all in one spot? Pop in a squad and conventional wisdom like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary men. Position, show me where the ammunition is. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited, shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm
your sister that she's got to rise up. When are these colonies going to rise up? I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory When's it gonna get me? In my sleep, seven feet ahead of me If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20 Where I come from, some get half as many Ask anybody why we live it fast And we laugh, reach for a flash We have to make this moment last That's plenty, scratch that This is not a moment, it's the movement Where all the hungriest brothers with something to prove When foes oppose us We take an honest stand We roll like Moses Claiming our promised land And if we win our independence Is that a guarantee of freedom for our descendants? Or will the blood we shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance And death with no defendants? I know the action in the street is exciting But Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting I've been reading and writing We need to handle our financial situation Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting I'm passionately smashing Every expectation, every action's an act of creation I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow And I am not for the way my shot I am not for the way my shot Hey yo, I'm just like my country I'm young, scrappy, and hungry Our glory. I may not live to see our glory, but I will gladly join the fight. But I will gladly join the fight. And when our children tell our story, and when, when our, our children, children tell our story, they'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Raise a glass to freedom, something they can never take away. No matter what they tell you Raise a glass to the four of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom Something they can never take away No matter what they tell you Let's have another round tonight Raise a glass to the four of us Tomorrow there'll be more of us Telling the story of tonight Let's have another round tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh-oh, but little does he know that his daughters, Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, sneak into the city just to watch all the guys. It work, work. Angelica, work, work. Eliza, and Peggy, work, work. the Schuyler sisters. Angelica, Peggy, Eliza, work. Daddy said to be home by sundown. I'm 
looking for a mind to work. I'm looking for a mind to work. I'm looking for a mind to work. Like summer in the city, someone in a rush next to someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss, I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. Why you slumming in the city in your fancy heels? You searching for an urchin who can give you ideals. Sir, you disgust me. Ah, so you disgust me. I'm a trust fund, baby, you can trust me. I've been reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine. So men say that I'm intense or I'm insane. You want a revolution, I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self evident. And are created equal And when I meet Thomas Jefferson oh. I'ma compel him to include women in the sequel Work! Look around, look around at How lucky we are to be alive right now Look around, look around at How lucky we are to be alive right now History is happening in Manhattan And we just happen to be in the greatest city in the world In the greatest city in the world Cause I'm around, around. Thoughts on the proceedings of the Continental Congress. Heed not the rabble who scream revolution. They have not your interest at heart. Oh my God, tear this dude apart. Chaos and bloodshed are not a solution. Don't let them lead you astray. This Congress does not speak for me. Let him be. They're playing a dangerous game. I pray the king shows you his mercy. For shame, for shame. Yeah. Heed not have the you all unravel at the sound of screams, but the revolution's coming. They have not a good win just at heart. heart. To listen to you with a straight face. Chaos and, and bloodshed already haunt us. A solution and even talk. Don't and what about Boston? You Look at the cost straight. and all that we've lost. And you talk this about Congress does not speak for My me. My dog speaks more eloquently it than me. A dangerous dream. Oh, your mind is I the same. The king shows you his mercy. Is he in Jersey? For oh, shame for the revolution! For shame for the revolution! Oh, you repeat yourself again, I'm gonna scream! scream. Honestly, look at me, please don't read! Not your interest! Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me! Why should a tiny island across the sea regulate the price of tea? Alexander, please! Burr, I'd rather be divisive than indecisive! Drop the niceties! Silence! A message from the king! A message from the king! A message from the king. You say the price of my love is not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away Now you're making me mad Remember despite our estrangement I'm your man You'll be back Soon you'll see you remember you belong to me You'll be back, time will tell you remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push 
hands to shove I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love da 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 You say our love is draining and you can't go Subject, my sweet submissive subject, my loyal royal subject, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, you'll be back like before. I will fight the fight and win the war. For your love, for your praise, and I'll love you till my dying days. When you're gone, I'll go mad. So don't throw away this thing we heard. 'Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Da 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 da. Da 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 As a kid in the Caribbean, I wished for a war. I knew that I was poor. I knew it was the only way to rise up. If they tell my story, I am either gonna die on the battlefield in glory or rise up. I will fight for this land, but there's only one man who can give us a command so we can rise up. Understand, it's the only way to rise up, rise up. Here he comes. Here comes the general, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the general, the moment you've been waiting for. Here comes the general, the pride of Mount Vernon. Here comes the general, to Washington. We are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. We gotta make an all out stand. Hey yo, I'm gonna need a right hand man. Check it. Can I be real a second? For just a millisecond, let down my guard and tell the people how I feel a second. Now I'm the model of a modern major general, the venerated Virginian veteran whose men are all lining up to put me up on a pedestal, writing letters to relatives embellishing my elegance and eloquence. But the elephant is in the room. The truth is in your face when you hear the British cannons go boom. Any hope of success is fleeting. How can I keep leading when the people I'm leading keep retreating? We put a stop to the bleeding as the British take Brooklyn. Night takes Rook, but look, we are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. We gotta make an all-out stand. Hey yo, I'm gonna need a right-hand man. Incoming! They're battering down the battery. Check the damages. We gotta stop 'em and rob 'em of their advantages. Let's take a stand with the stamina and the God has granted. Hamilton won't abandon ship. Yo, let's steal their cannons. Shaboom! Dose the cannon, watch the blood. 
letting this shit spray And <laughs> goes the cannon, we're abandoning Kip's Bay And <laughs> there's another shipping <laughs> We just lost the Southern Tipping <laughs> We gotta run to Harlem quick, we can't afford another slip Guns and horses, giddy up I decide to divvy up my forces This skittish as the British cut the city up This close to giving up Facing mass scrutiny I scream in the face of this mass mutiny Are these the men with which I am to defend America? We ride at midnight, Manhattan in the distance I cannot be everywhere at once, people I'm in dire need of assistance Your Excellency, sir Who are you? Aaron Burr, sir Permission to state my case As you were Sir, I was a captain under General Montgomery Until he caught a bullet in the neck in Quebec And well, in summary I think that I could be of some assistance I admire how you keep firing on the British from a distance. I have some questions, a couple of suggestions on how to fight instead of fleeing west. Yes? Well, Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. meeting. As I was saying, sir, I look forward to seeing your strategy play out. Burr, sir, close the door on your way out. Have I done something wrong, sir? On the contrary. I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Sir? Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Sir! Don't get me wrong, you're a young man of great renown. I know you stole British cannons when we were still downtown. Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox wanted to hire yeah, you. To be their secretary, I don't think so. Now why are you upset? I'm not. It's all right you want to fight, you've got a hunger. I was just like you when I was younger Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr Yes, dying is easy, young man Living is harder Why are you telling me this? I'm being honest I'm working with a third of what our Congress has promised We are a powder keg about to explode I need someone like you to lighten the load So? I am not throwing away my shot I am not throwing away my shot And you're just like my country and you're I am not throwing away my shot. Son, we, we are outgunned out there. You need all the help you can get. I have some friends. Lawrence Mulligan, Marquis de Lafayette. Okay, what else? Outnumbered, outplayed. We'll need some spies on the inside. Some king's men who might let some things slide. Ooh. I'll write to Congress and tell them we need supplies. We rally the guys, master the element of surprise. Ooh. I'll rise above my station. Organize your information till we rise to the occasion of our new nation. Sir, here comes the general. Right-hand man. Ooh. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore go on and on, grow into more of a phenomenon? Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth bother. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Washington hires Hamilton right on sight. But Hamilton still wants to fight, not right. Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable, but what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. ladies. There are so many to deflower. Ladies. Looks proximity to power. Ladies. They delighted and distracted a Martha Washington named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. 1780, a winter's ball, and the Skylar sisters are the envy of all. Yo, if you could marry a sister, your rich son, is it a question of if, ver, or which one? Hey, 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 hey. hey. We were at a rebel with some rebels on a hunt.
taking me. I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. One week later, I'm writing a letter nightly. Now my life gets better every letter that you write me. Laughing at my sister because she wants to form a harem. I'm just saying, if you really love me, you would share them. Ha! Two weeks later in the living room stressing. My father stone-faced while you're asking for his blessing. I'm dying inside as you whine and dine. And I'm trying not to cry because there's nothing that your mind can't do. My father makes his way across the room to you. I panic for a second thinking we're through. But then he shakes your hand and says, be true. And you turn back to me I don't have a dollar to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, a dollar for fame. All I have is my honor, a tolerance for pain, a couple of college credits, and my top notch brain. And say your family brings out a different side of me. Peggy confides in me, Angelica tried to take a bite of me. No stress, my love for you is never in doubt. We'll get a little place in Harlem and we'll figure it out. I've been living without a family since I was a child. My father left, my mother died. I grew up buck wild, but I'll never. Never forget my mother's face, that was real As long as I'm alive, I lies, I swear to God you'll never feel so I I'm sure I don't know what you mean, you forget yourself You're like me, I'm never satisfied Is that right? I've never been satisfied My name is Angelica Schuyler Alexander Hamilton Where's your family from? Unimportant, there's a million things I haven't done Just you wait just you wait. So, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match wits with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key and a kite. You see it, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total with three minutes. It's a three minutes, a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'ma give it a chance. I asked about his family. Did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting. He looked askance. He's penniless. He's flat. 
flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz, then he can't even grow it. I want to take him far away from this place, then I turn and see my sister's face, and she is so About to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for what? So I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander is penniless. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want a many less. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. Number two. He's after me because I'm a Schuyler. for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that I love him, she'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes as I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least, my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. <laughs> I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I've seen wonders great and small. I've seen wonders great and small. Cause if the Tom Cat can get married, if Alexander can get married, there's hope for our ass after all. With a glass to freedom. Hey! Something you will never see again. No matter what she tells you. Let's have another round tonight. There's a glass to the four of us. Oh. To the newly not four of us. Now we'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round. Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, I didn't think that you would make it. To be sure, uh, I came to say congratulations. But a verse, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. <laughs> Ignore them. Congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command instead of man in George's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now be sensible from what I hear. You've made yourself indispensable. Well, well, I heard you got a special someone on the side, Bird. Is that so? What are you trying to hide, Bird? I should go. No, these guys should go. What? No. Leave us alone. Man. It's all right, Bird. I wish you'd brought this girl with you tonight, Burr. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Congrats again, Alexander. Smile more. I'll see you on the other side of the war. I will never understand you. If you love this woman, go get her. What are you waiting for? See you on the other side of the war. I'll see you on the other side of the war.
Theodosia writes me a letter every day. I'm keeping her bed warm while her husband is away. He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all of Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we keep loving anyway. We laugh and we cry and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm by her side when so many have tried, then I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. My grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher. 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 But there are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach ya. Teach ya. My mother was a genius. My father commanded respect. When they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we keep living anyway. We rise and we fall and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm still alive, when everyone who loves me has died, I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Like in his shoes, Hamilton doesn't hesitate. He exhibits no restraint. Takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game, plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason he seems to thrive and so few survive, then goddammit, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Life doesn't discriminate. seen the general so despondent I have taken over writing all his correspondence Congress writes George attacked the British forces I shoot back we have resorted to eating our horses local merchants deny us equipment assistance they only take British money so sing a song of sixpence the cavalry's not coming but sir Alex listen there's only one way for us to win this provoke outrage outright that's right don't engage strike by night Remain relentless till their troops take flight. Make it impossible to justify the cost of uh -huh. the fight. Outrun, outrun, outlast, outlast. Hit them quick, get out fast. Stay alive until this horror show is past. We're gonna fly a lot of flags half mast. Raise a glass. I go back to New York in my apprenticeship. I ask for French aid, I pray that Francis sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton, we write essays against slavery. And every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery. We cut supply lines, we steal contraband. We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand. And every day, sir, entrust me with a command. And every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand. Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command. I'm a general. He's not the choice I would have gone with. He shits the bed at the Battle of Monmouth. Everyone attack! Retreat! Attack! Retreat! What are you doing? Lee, get back on your feet! But there's so many of them! I'm sorry, is this not your speed? Hamilton, ready, sir! Have Lafayette take the lead! Yes, sir! A thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat as we snatch. 
catch a stalemate from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices. Indecisive from crisis to crisis. The best thing he can do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. <laughs> Don't do a thing. History will prove him wrong. But sir, we have a war to fight. Let's move along. Strong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence, do not throw away your shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. It's the Ten Dual Commandments. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two, if they don't, grab a friend, that's your second. Your lieutenant, when there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three, have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a or negotiate a time and place. This is commonplace, especially between recruits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four, if they don't reach a peace, that's all right. Time to get some pistols and the doctor on site. You pay him in advance, you treat him with civility. You have him turn around so he can have deniability. Five, do before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and dry. Number six, leave a note for your next to kin. Tell him where you've been. Pray that hella heaven lets you in. Seven, confess your sins. Ready for the moment of adrenaline. When you finally face your opponent. Number eight, Last chance to negotiate Send in your second See if they can set the record straight Alexander Aaron Burr, sir Can we agree the duels are dumb and immature? Sure, but your man has to answer for his words, Burr With his life? We both know that's absurd, sir Hang on, how many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing this Number nine Look him in the eye, ain't no higher Summon all the courage you require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number, number ten, paces, fire! Lee, do you yield? You shot him in the side, yes, he yields. I'm satisfied. Yo, we gotta clear the field. Yo, we won. Here comes the general. This should be fun. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Burr? Get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these young men don't speak for me. Thank you for your service. That's right. Hamilton, sir. Meet me inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him, meet him inside. Son, don't call me son. This war is hard enough without infighting. Lee called you out. We called us You bluff. solve nothing. You aggravate our allies to the south. You're absolutely right. John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shut him up. Son, I'm not your son. Watch your tone. I am not a maiden in need of defending. Charles I am Lee, wrong. Thomas Conway, these men take your name and they rake it through the mud. My name's been through a lot. I can take Well, I don't have your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your land. But if you know, if you gave me command of a Italian, a group of men to lead. I could fly above my station after the war. Or you could die, and we need you alive. I'm more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive. Son, I need you alive. Call me son one more time. Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Sir? Go home. should have told me. I'm not sorry. I knew you'd fight until the war was won. But you deserve a chance to meet your son. Look around, look around, 
it how lucky we are to be alive right now. Will you relish being a poor man's wife, unable to provide for your life? I relish being your wife. Look around, look around. Look at where you are. Look at where you started. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. Just stay alive, that would be enough. And if this child shares a fraction of your smile, or a fragment of your mind, look outward, that would be enough. I don't pretend to know the challenges you're facing, the worlds you keep erasing and creating in your mind. But I'm not afraid. I know who I married. So long as you come home at the end of the day, that would be enough. We don't need a legacy. We don't need money. If I could grant you peace of mind, if you could let me inside your heart, oh, let me be a part of the narrative in the story they will write someday. Let this moment be the first chapter where you decide to stay. Does a ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow defeat a global superpower? How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leave the battlefield waving Betsy Ross's flag higher? Yo, turns out we have a secret weapon, an immigrant you know and love who's unafraid to step in. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting French man! I'm picking this horse, smell of rain, speaking red coats, weather with blood stains. Then I'm never gonna stop until I make a drop of random up and scatter the remains down. Watch me engage in a mistake. I'm escaping them and raging them out. I go to France for more fun. I come back with more guns and ships. And so their balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea. But for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. So he knows what to do in the trench, ingenuitive and fluent in French, I mean Hamilton. So you're gonna have to use him eventually, what's he gonna do in the bench, I mean Hamilton. No one has more resilience or matches my practical, tactical brilliance Hamilton. You want to fight for your land back Hamilton. I need my right hand man back yeah. Get your right hand man back, you know you gotta get your right hand man back I mean you gotta put some bottom to the lender, but the sooner the better to get your right hand man back Alexander Hamilton, troops are waiting in the field for you if you join us right now, together we can turn the tide. Oh, Alexander Hamilton, I have soldiers that will yield for you. If we manage to get this right, they'll surrender my early life. No. I was younger than you are now When I was given my first command I led my men straight into a massacre I witnessed their deaths firsthand I made every mistake And felt the shame rise in me And even now I lie awake Knowing history has its eyes i 
Victory has its eyes on me. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. I know that we can win. I know that greatness lies in you. But remember from here on in, history has its eyes on Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. We get the job done. So what happens if we win? I go back to France. I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. I'll see you on the other side. Till we meet again. I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not thrown away my A memory. This is where it gets me. On my feet, the enemy ahead of me. If this is the end of me, at least I have a friend with me. Weapon in my hand, a command of my men with me. Then I remember my allies is expecting me. Not only that, my allies is expecting. We gotta go, gotta get the job done. Gotta start a new nation, gotta meet my son. Take the bullets out, your gun. The bullets out, your gun. We move on the cover and we move as one. Through the night, we have one shot to live another day. We cannot let a straight gunshot give us away. We will fight up close. The moment is staying it. It's either that or meet the business end of a bayonet. The code word is Rochambeau. Take me. Rochambeau. You have your orders now. Go man, go. And so the American experiment begins with my friends all scattered to the winds. Lawrence is in South Carolina, redefining bravery. We'll never be free until we end slavery. When we finally drive the British away, Lafayette is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How do we know that this plan would work? We had a spy. That's right. Hercules Mulligan. I tell a spine on the British government. I take the measurements, information, and then I smuggle it. Huh? To my brother's revolutionary covenant. I'm running with the sons of liberty, and I am loving it. See, that's what happens when you up against the ruffians. We in the shit now. Somebody's got to shovel it. Hercules Mulligan. I need no introduction. When you knock me down, I get the fuck back up again. <laughs> Fighting a young man in a red coat stands on a parapet. We lower our guns as he frantically waves their white handkerchief. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded. We count our dead. Black and white soldiers wonder alike if this really means freedom. Not yet. We negotiate the terms of surrender. I see George Washington smile. We escort their men out of your town. They stagger home single file. Tens of thousands of people flood the streets. There are screams and church bells ringing. And as our fallen foes retreat, I hear the drinking song they're singing. The world turned upside down. The world turned upside down.
The price of my war's not a price that they're willing to pay. Insane! You cheat with the French, now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. I'm so blue. <laughs> I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away. You were mine to subdue. Well, even despite our estrangement, I've got a small query for you. What comes next? You've been freed. Do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. It's much harder when it's all your call. All alone across the sea. When your people say they hate you, don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's name. When you came into the world, you cried and it broke my heart. I'm dedicating every day to you. Domestic life was never quite my style when you smile. You knocked me out, I fall apart And I thought I was so smart You will come of age with our young nation We'll bleed and fight for you We'll make it right for you If we lay a strong enough foundation We'll pass it on to you We'll give the world to you And you'll blow us all away Someday, someday yeah, you blow us all away Someday, someday Ooh, Philip, when you smile, I am undone My son, look at my son Pride is not the word I'm looking for There is so much more inside me now you outshine the morning sun, my sun. When you smile, I fall apart. And I thought I was so small. My father wasn't around. My father wasn't around. Swear that I'll, I'll be around, around for you. you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million of mistakes. I'll make the world safe and sound for you. Come of age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you. We'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. I may not live to see our glory. Alexander, there's a letter for you. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. No, it's from his father. His father? And when our children tell our story, will you read it for me? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday, the 27th, 
my son was killed in a gunfight against British troops retreating from South Carolina. The war was already over. As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Alexander, are you all right? I have so much work to do. After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. I practiced law, bird work next door. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Hamilton began to climb. How to account for his rise to the top? Man, the man is non-stop. Gentlemen of the jury, I'm curious, bear with me. Are you aware that we're making history? This is the first murder trial of our brand new nation, the liberty behind deliberation. I intend to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt with my assistant counsel. Go counsel Hamilton, sit down. A client, Larry Weeks, is innocent. Call your first witness. That's all you had to say. Okay, one more thing. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Assume that attitude may be your doom. Uh, why do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Keep on fighting in the meantime. Non-stop. Corruption's such an old song that we can sing along in harmony. And nowhere is it stronger than in Albany. This colony's economy's increasingly stalling. And honestly, that's why public service Just seems to be calling me. I practiced the law, practically perfected it. I've seen injustice in the world and I've corrected it. Now for a strong central democracy. If not, then I'll be Socrates throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities. Uh, Hamilton at the Constitutional Convention. I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York junior delegate. Now what I'm gonna say may sound indelicate. Uh, he goes and proposes his own form of government. What? His own plan for a new form of government. What? Talks for six hours. The convention is listless. Bright young man. Yo, who the F is this? Why do you always say? Say what you believe. Why do you always say what you believe? Every proclamation guarantees free ammunition for your enemies. Why do you write like it's going out of style? Write day and night like it's going out of style. Every day you fight like it's going out of style. Do what you do. Alexander? Aaron Burr, sir. Well, it's the middle of the night. Can we confer, sir? Is this a legal matter? Yes, and it's important to me. What do you need? Burr, you're a better lawyer than me. Okay. I know I talk too much. I'm abrasive. You're incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution? No. Hear me out. No way. A series of essays anonymously published defending the document to the public. No one will read it. I disagree. And if it fails. Bird, that's why we need it. The Constitution's a mess. So it needs amendments. It's full of contradictions. So is independence. We have to start somewhere. No. No way. You're making a mistake. Good night. Hey, what are you waiting for? What do you stall for? What? We won the war. What was it all for? Do you support this constitution? Of course. Then defend it. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? Burr, we studied and we fought and we killed for the notion of a nation we now get to build. For once in your life, take a stand with pride. I don't understand how you stand to the side. I'll keep all my plans close to my chest. Accompanied by someone who always pays I have found a wealthy husband Who will keep me in comfort for all my days He is not a lot of fun But there's no one who can match you For turn of phrase My Alexander Don't forget to run Look at where you are Look at where you started The fact that you're alive Alexander joins forces with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States Constitution entitled The Federalist Papers. 
The plan was to write a total of 25 essays, the work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Like you're running out of time. Are you running out of time? How do you write like tomorrow won't arrive? How do you write like you needed to survive? How do you write every second you're alive? Every second you're alive? Every second you're alive? They're asking me to lead. I'm doing the best I can to get the people that I need. I'm asking you to be my right hand, Treasury man. Or state. I know it's a lot to treasury ask or state. to leave behind the world you know. Sir, do you want me to run the Treasury or State Department? Treasury. Let's go. Alexander. I have to leave. Alexander. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Helpless. They are asking me. Thank you very much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks to my patrons who make possible the creation of these videos. Here's my patron if you want to support the channel. If you want to share a drawing, use this hashtag on Twitter or Instagram. Take care and see you next time.